there's so many industries that are opening up to this, from agriculture to commercial to motion picture television use mm -hmm. to law enforcement to search and rescue to the first responders. So it's just almost an unlimited market that's opening up out there. So mm -hmm. that's the reason that we really encourage everyone to join the AMA so that we have that advocate down at our level. And there, there are a couple other agencies that you should be aware of as well. It's the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, which has been in existence for about 43 years, since 1972. Wow. They're also a big advocate of all unmanned systems from ground to aerial to marine. And then the IICP, which is the International Association of Chiefs of Police, have a code of conduct for operating unmanned aerial systems for law enforcement applications. So be aware of all of those, the Chiefs of Police Organization, the AUVSI, and the AMA. As well as the, in the motion picture and television industry, the producers and directors uh, guilds all have training programs for uh, safety equipment on sets. For any piece of equipment used on a motion picture or television set, all have training programs for it. Currently, what we're categorized under is um, uh, miniature helicopters with cameras. Mm -hmm. But right now, there is nothing in existence for small unmanned aerial vehicle systems for cinematography or videography. So we want to be safe. We want to get our documentation, mm -hmm. our logs, our checklists, everything. So when you show up on set, you actually are a credible operator of this piece of equipment. I see uh, a lot of um, cool stuff here. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about some of the recent projects that you've been doing? Well, we actually built a fairly large HEX, which is a six rotor uh, helicopter system that had to be foldable and compactable for a team that's going down to document the new Panama Canal construction. So they wanted an aircraft that could break down and go in a soft backpack that they could transport easily down in that environment. That was one fun exercise. We actually put a Blackmagic pocket camera on that one. Cool. Another one, we did a, a, a gag on a, a web series where the group Dude Perfect to do the extreme ball tricks, throwing footballs, basketballs, golf balls, archery, dart. They, were, they wanted a, a basketball recovery vehicle. So we created, awesome. with one of our larger quads, uh -huh. a device to go down and pick up a basketball that they'd thrown off the roof of a building and bring it back to them so they could continue to throw it off the roof. So Dan, what's Friday Fly Day? We initiated this basically as an ad hoc kind of informal get together for guys to show up on Fridays mm -hmm. that maybe wanted to have their uh, aircraft checked out mm -hmm. or maybe their autopilots updated, especially if the DJI NASA systems yeah. have the firmware, the software, all the flight parameters checked out. And then it kind of grew from there as the, well, the guys would show up, we'd give them some formal instruction, we'd check out their aircraft, and then we'd all go to lunch together, and then we'd go down to the local airfield and put everything up in the sky and just kind of do a one-on-one -on -one with each individual flyer and talk them through procedures, flight control, flight mode characteristics, mm -hmm. everything that they want to kind of refresh themselves on or just to learn to have fun with. So that sounds like Fridays, a lot of fun. yep, is our fly day. So any Friday, if you're in Los Angeles, come down to Van Nuys um, and come check out Super Pro Aerial. Everybody's welcome. If you have nothing to fly, we'll bring something for you to fly. Well, Dan, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for all your awesome knowledge. You're welcome. So click subscribe. Check out the links below for more information for Aerial Grand Prix. We'll see you next time. <laughs>